Hey everyone, it's Jenna. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be all about the new home decor and styling trends. I also want to give a huge shout out to Brooklyn Inn for being today's video sponsor. You all really liked my last trends video, so I figured why not do another one? I've been seeing a lot of new things pop up in designer spaces lately, so I'm excited to just kind of break down the trends together and just get some fun styling and home decor inspiration. So without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, so the first trend I'm seeing a lot of lately is just having that casual lived in look to your space. Gone are the days of perfectly tidy and tucked homes that look picture perfect. Now people are really gravitating more towards spaces that have that casual elegance about them, keeping with very simple styling elements, just making things very minimal, very organic, and very fresh. And one of the ways I love to do this in my own home is with my new Brooklyn and Sheets, who happen to be kind enough to sponsor today's video. If you all are familiar with my channel, you know I hardly ever do sponsored videos because I'm very picky about the products that I recommend to you all and let me tell you these sheets are life changing. What I really like about Brooklinen is they were founded on the idea that people deserve simple, beautiful home essentials without the luxury markup, which you all know is something that I'm all about on this channel. And I really believe that getting yourself these sheets is one of the highest forms of self-care that there is. Not only are they buttery soft and so comfortable, but they also really give your home that high-end luxury feel. I also love that you can shop for the Brooklyn and Classic or the Lux Hardcore Bundle from the comfort of your own home. And right now, Brooklinen is giving you guys $20 off a purchase of $100 or more by using the code Jenna Pierce at checkout. All you have to do is click the link below in my description box. I personally went with the Brooklyn in Lux Hardcore Bundle, and this option saves you 25% by purchasing the bundle rather than purchasing the items individually. So this set comes with two extra pillowcases, a core sheet set, and a duvet cover. Choosing sheets for my bundle was so quick and simple. They have over 25 colors and patterns so you could customize your bedding set to match your space and your style. When creating my bundle personally, I chose the graphite and Oxford steel stripe for my core sheet set and then a solid white for my extra pillowcases and duvet cover. I absolutely love the subtle pattern and personality that this combo gives to my bedding. I feel like stripes combined with a crisp white is such a classic and timeless look. These best-selling Lux Sateen sheets are the ultimate bedding upgrade, perfect for elevating your sheet game. These sheets feature a luxurious 480 thread count and a slightly luminous finish. And something that was really big for me was that Brooklyn and sheets are Ocotex certified, which means they are tested for harmful substances substances and certified to meet the strict global safety criteria of the standard 100 by Ocotex, assuring safe sheets for you and your family. This means a lot to me, not only because my body is in direct contact with these sheets for six to eight hours per night, but I actually had a time where I was required to wear a work uniform that had harmful chemicals in it and the effect it had on my health was crazy. So the fact that these sheets are safe was really important to me personally. We've been sleeping on our Brooklyn and sheets for about a month now. And and let me tell you all, these sheets are magical. I love how buttery soft and comfortable they are, and you can really tell that the quality is top notch. They make falling asleep so relaxing for me, and my husband is super picky about his sheets, and he's just as obsessed as I am. Not only are they amazingly comfortable, but I love how they give my bedroom that high-end designer look and feel, and the best part is that they are Kona approved. Seriously, like I'll be in the living room and she's just always chilling on the bed. So cute. So needless to say, I could not recommend these sheets more. And again, Brooklyn is giving you all $20 off a purchase of $100 or more by using the code Jenna Pierce at checkout. All you have to do is click that link below in my description box. And again, I want to thank Brooklyn for being today's video sponsor. I absolutely love their product and I hope that you all get a chance to try them out as well. So another trend that I'm seeing a lot of right now is banquette seating. And I love this because it creates a much more cozy, intimate atmosphere. And for a while now, newer home builds have kind of been straying away from the formal dining room. People are kind of opting to make this extra space more of an office area. And now not only are we mixing the formal dining room, but we're taking it one step further by adding these nooks to try to achieve that casual lived-in feel to our space. We personally have this in our own 
home. We do not have a formal dining room. We absolutely love it. My husband built the bench seat himself. It was our first ever real DIY. So we do have a video on that if you're interested, but we actually love this because it can fit more people than just the traditional table and chairs would. It's super comfortable. It gives you the opportunity for lots of extra storage. People gather around and play games all the time. And it just looks really aesthetic and cozy. If you're not super handy or a contractor isn't in the budget, I've totally seen people just turn Ikea bookshelves on their sides and put cushions on top. And because this furniture trend is gaining so much traction, I've seen a lot of furniture sites now selling booth and bench seating. So you can kind of get this look in your home without having to build anything custom. So definitely some great options to get that custom high-end feel without paying the custom high-end price. Another trend I've been seeing a lot of lately are elevated outdoor spaces. And it's no surprise that the last couple of years may have boosted stress levels for the majority of the population. And spending time outdoors is just so good for our mental health. So we're seeing more and more people starting to invest in these spaces. We're graduating from these places being more of a place to entertain to now more of an extended living space. So gone are the days of just a simple patio set. And now we're really starting to zhuzh these spaces up a little bit with things like rugs, pillows, more furniture like sofas and accent chairs and you know some fun decorative accents to really make these spaces feel like an extended living room or like a bonus room type situation. I know for me personally I love to go outdoors and edit when the weather is nice so it's almost like a little extended home office out there for us but you know if you don't have the budget for new patio furniture there's definitely lots of little things that you can do to kind of this area up and make it feel a bit more luxurious without costing an arm and a leg. You know, you could just invest in a little tabletop fire pit, something to help add to the ambiance and make your space more of a little nighttime getaway. You could also invest in a fountain or a little water feature just to give yourself really like zen calming vibes if that's what you need. Or you could just make a little herb garden with just a couple of your favorite herbs, nothing crazy, and just have those on hand for cooking or entertaining or making cocktails, whatever. So so not only does it help add to the decor of your space, but you can also grow something tangible that you can use and really elevate your cooking experience as well. All right, so our next trend is scalloped details. And this is such a fun detail that's being incorporated into so many aspects of design these days. And you know, it really helps give your space some flair and personality without being too over the top or crazy. I guess this is kind of one of those hypocritical trends where it's something that actually is very timeless and classic, but I guess we can just kind of categorize it as one of those details that's being used more these days than it used to. Um, you know, we're seeing it in tiling details, which I think is really pretty, but I also understand that's more of a permanent fixture. And if you're looking for something a bit more temporary, you can always try looking for things like trays, lamps, or furniture pieces that are really just easy to kind of mix into your current space. You can also experiment with a fun painted accent wall. This is very affordable to do. It's also very simple to execute, but it's also just as easy to paint over if in the future you get tired of it or want to change it. All right, so another trend is checkered flooring. And don't get me wrong, black and white checkered flooring is a very classic and timeless look, but again, it's kind of one of those hypocritical trends where we're just seeing a resurgence a little bit more than we used to as opposed to the last decade, but still the material overall is a very classic look, which I don't know about you guys, but I love trends like that. I think we're in a time where people really want to have fun with their flooring, but they also want to get their money's worth and have their design choice stand the test of time. And I think this is a really great look that does both of those things really well. We also just aren't limited to black and white. I've seen painted checkered flooring, which can be a very budget friendly option if you have, you know, hardwoods that have already been installed. I think that this is such a fun, classic, affordable, and durable look. So I'm definitely here for this one. Just something different than your typical hardwood floors. All right, so our next trend is stone accent walls and backsplashes. This is something that I'm seeing in so many kitchens right now. I think it has a lot to do with that gravitation towards more earthy materials in our spaces. I think with everyone spending time indoors the last couple of years, it's been really important for us to make our spaces feel very calming, very zen, and very down to earth. And a great way to do that is by incorporating materials that are very earthy, things like wood, marble, stone, 
linens. I just think that that really gives your space that really calming down to earth feel. And I think seeing all of these backsplashes is a way of making our kitchens a little bit more organic. And I love the rustic look that this adds to a space. Again, while this is a trend right now, stone just really is a very classic material choice. And I know that it can tend to be on the pricier side. So I'll definitely link some alternatives if you want to get that stone look in your space or you know you have a wall that you kind of want to make an accent wall in a bathroom or a fireplace wall something like that so I'll try to link some things down below that you guys can use as resources all right so our next trend is the use of more traditional faucets and hardware and you know a couple of years ago we were seeing very sleek modern faucets and hardware to accent kitchens and bathrooms but now we're seeing those features shift back to more classic traditional shapes modern finishes are still still very popular, they're still very in, but if a space has a more modern feel, more often than not, I'm seeing designers opt for more ornate classic faucets and hardware. So mixing styles is something straight out of a designer's handbook. Doing so really helps a space have a more dynamic feel. If you wanna switch up the look of your space but you don't have the money for an entire renovation, try swapping out your hardware or maybe a faucet or two. That's a really easy, affordable way to create a big impact on a space but not spend a lot of money. So, you know, upstairs, we are redoing our loft space very slowly but surely and I just picked out the hardware for up there and I actually opted for a more traditional pull versus a more modern sleek pull which we have in our kitchen so I thought it'd be fun to kind of switch things up and have that juxtaposition up there so I found them on Wayfair they were relatively affordable so I will link them below so yeah just something I'm seeing designers do a little bit more of right now just kind of you know gravitating towards those more vintage pulls those more vintage faucets, things like that. All right, so another thing I've been seeing a lot of lately are wallpaper murals. And this is such a fun trend because it's a break from the white walls and is a great way to give a room a punch of personality. You know, I'm seeing these in bedrooms, home offices, nurseries, entryways, bathrooms. For a while, the painted wall moldings were really big and I do think that we'll still be seeing them a lot in the future, but this is definitely a fun new way of introducing an accent wall to a space. The mural really does majority of the decorating and I love the simplicity that that can add to a space. So I think a lot of times when something gets very popular, like white walls, you know, designers really tend to try to break that mold and do something new and exciting. And I think that this is one of the ways that I'm really seeing them do that. You know, I'm here for it. These murals don't always have to be loud and crazy colors. Sometimes they're just very earthy neutral scenes which I personally love and I think makes such an impact on a space. All right, so our next trend is super veiny marble. And we talked about stone backsplashes, but this is another big trend I'm seeing in backsplashes right now. And we're seeing this being incorporated in so many ways, not just the backsplash, but furniture, tubs, showers, things like that. It's a really great way to incorporate visual interest into a space while still keeping the materials very earthy and natural. The veining is usually very prominent. They kind of speak for themselves and act as a pattern used within the space so you don't really need too much else a lot of them are just coupled with other wood accents to keep everything feeling very natural and organic which I love all right, so our next trend is quirky vintage accents. And things used to be very sleek with the modern farmhouse design, and now we're seeing people gravitate, you know, a little bit more towards vintage pieces with curves and more ornate details. Just a vintage accent piece or two within a modern space could really create some great juxtaposition and character. These vintage pieces can be anything from a mirror to a nightstand to a lamp, a bed frame, things like that. I'm also seeing a lot of repurposed furniture pieces which is great because they're very budget friendly I'm seeing this a lot in bathrooms specifically with bathroom vanities being repurposed that's becoming a very popular look right now lots of furniture accent pieces just with more curvy legs or turned legs just that little extra ornate detail is becoming more popular so you know it's a really great time right now to go out to the thrift stores find some pieces that resonate with you and bring them back home to mix them into your space for a more 
cozy and eclectic feel. All right, so our next trend is stone sinks. And we talked about stone walls and backsplashes, but I'm also seeing lots of stone sinks being used as well. I think that this is such a show-stopping look and really adds that spa-like organic feel to your bathroom. And a lot of these that I'm seeing are in powder baths or guest bathrooms because you can have that one sink that really creates a statement. And because these pieces are so unique, they act as a really great focal point, which is a really critical part of a successful room design, in my opinion. These are definitely not one of those cheap upgrades by any means. They'll probably cost you a pretty penny. But if you are redoing a powder bath or a guest bathroom and you have the money for splurge, this is something that I would definitely consider putting in your space. All right, everyone, that about wraps up this video. I hope that you all enjoyed it. Definitely let me know in the comments what you thought of these trends or if you've been seeing some different trends lately that weren't mentioned in this video. I also, again, want to thank Brooke Lennon for sponsoring this video. And just a reminder, you guys get $20 off a purchase of $100 or more with the code Jenna Pierce at checkout. So click that link below if you are interested. And I want to thank you all so, so much for tuning in and watching this week's video. You all mean so much to me and I'm so grateful for this community that I have here and I will see you all in my next video. Bye!